imagine discovering you have the potential for incredible elemental powers if you can just unlock them, specifically mastery over the element of candy. The basic premise of the season 8 episode, Jelly Beans Have Power, is that jealous of Slime Princess's effortless use of slime powers, Bubblegum tries to copy her in the hopes she can unlock her own candy powers. She also leans too heavily into her mad scientist traits for her own good. We will all die! Die for science! <laughs> and this is an episode where we are painfully exposed to Bubblegum's flaws and her urgent need to change and grow, but more on that later. The episode opens with Slime Princess celebrating her new slime powers, which Bubblegum reminds her are active thanks to the Ice Elemental Patient St. Pym abducting and experimenting on them. After her tea with Slime Princess, Bubblegum becomes obsessed with unlocking the secret of her own powers as a candy elemental. Bubblegum tries to imitate Slime Princess by saying, there's a slime and place for everything and thrusting at her hands like a wizard no dice. That night, she dreams of the past candy elemental Chatsbury, who explains that she needs to connect to her new self. After this cryptic dream, she can shoot a powerful flow of jelly beans from her palms, but she still doesn't have mastery over soda and the other sweet stuffs that Chatsbury could control. Regardless, she meets Slime Princess to show off her new powers. Soon after, the Candy Kingdom is confronted by an ominous enchanted entity made from ice. When the entity threatens her citizens, Bubblegum can only shoot jelly beans at it and they just bounce off. During the battle, she has a mystical meeting with the spirit of Chatsbury, who tells her to walk in her own shoes. Realizing her scientific mindset is the key, she arranges candy molecules to create a wave of fizzy soda to blow the ice entity to pieces. While the ice entity is destroyed, so is a chunk of the candy kingdom. A typical outcome for the average mad scientist, perhaps. Die for science! The episode ends with Patience St. Pym marking off Bubblegum as yet another elemental whose powers she has unlocked. For most of the episode, the plot has the outward appearance of a positive be yourself message. In the end, Bubblegum's scientific mindset is what she needs to fully unlock her powers. And yet, her powers manifest so explosively that she accidentally ends up hurting many citizens of the Candy Kingdom. So the positive thrust of the narrative is turned on its head at the end. Rather than being uplifting, the episode is more a tragedy than anything else. In the view of the author K.M. Wayland, a character who is struggling will believe a damaging lie. Character development will occur when the character either clings more tightly to the lie or is able to overcome it. In her book Creating Character Arcs, Wayland discusses what she calls the disillusionment arc, summed up succinctly as character believes lie, overcomes lie, the new truth is tragic. There's a positive side to this in the sense that by overcoming the lie, the character is developing a better understanding of the truth, which may even allow them to live a better life in some sense. Bubblegum's pursuit of power immediately backfires in the episode. This contributes to her broader arc of giving up her ruthless pursuit of excellence and control. I have a whole video about the moral complexity of Bubblegum where I go into her overall character arc in more depth. Regardless, this episode focuses on Bubblegum's disillusion. The disillusioning truth is that she isn't always going to be the best person to protect the Candy Kingdom. Sometimes she can cause it more harm than good. As a storytelling technique, the disillusionment arc involves a character moving from a positive outlook to a bleaker outlook, which is the negative aspect. This is the narrative form of The Great Gatsby, in which the narrator Nick eventually sees through the glitz and glam of his new life amongst the American wealthy elite and understands the truth that corruption, hypocrisy, and emptiness permeates their lifestyle. In Jelly Beans Have Power, Bubblegum took a real hit to her self-esteem, with her overachieving behavior leading to outright chaos. From the beginning, Bubblegum knew these elemental powers were a result of St. Pym's dubious experiments, but Bubblegum went full mad scientist here, pursuing knowledge and power with the assumption it could only lead to something good. 
At the end of the day, Bubblegum's disillusionment was necessary. She had to see how her pursuit of power got out of control in order to eventually abdicate her leadership of the Candy Kingdom. In the short term, Jelly Beans Have Power is the prequel to the miniseries of episodes called Elements, where Bubblegum's powers really get out of control and she transforms into a horrifying candy abomination. But that would be a subject for its own video. In seeking to unlock her powers, Bubblegum ignored the risks in her obsession with becoming better. It's the dark side of being an overachiever. No matter how much you strive to be the best you can be, perfection is impossible. I guess there's a slime in a place for everything. That wraps up my thoughts on Jelly Beans Have Power. If you enjoyed my attempt to draw a deeper meaning from a tale about candy elemental magic, you can help the channel by liking and subscribing. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed already. Have a great week, embrace the weird, and thank you for watching. We will all die. Die for science. <laughs>